Hello, this is Kai McAmey reporting at 4 o'clock Channel 20 News. Our correspondents in the Middle East have reported an outbreak in Iran. According to our sources, the current socialist leader has been overthrown by the pro-capitalism Shah. This might bring us one step closer to beating back the Reds. Channel, Channel 20 correspondent Luke is currently in Tehran. Yes, thank you, Kai. Ever since the democratically elected Mozart dead, and Parliament had nationalized the oil reserves in 1951, the nation has, great, has been at great tensions with Western world. The nationalization of the oil was a popular move in Iran because the public saw the British oil's, oil company's actions as exploitative and uh, imperialistic. In response to the nationalization of oil, the British boycotted all oil from Iran and it has continued to this day. This move was to pressure Iran but it did not work. The, the government of, the Brit of Britain and the United States selected General Zahidi to take the place of Mozadeh. Classified documents show that British oil companies bribed government officials within Iran. The CIA also pressured the Shah to support the crew and bribed street thugs, clergy, men, politicians and Iranian army, army officials to pretend to be pro Mozadeh and give him a bad name. While this was going on, both governments paid pro Shah supporters to fight with the pro Mozadeh supporters. This, this actually was a fight that happened today, and as they fought, the Iranian, gover the Iranian army, headed by Zahid, stormed the gov governmental buildings and arrested the former prime minister. As it stands, the general is now in control of Jer Iran and might give power to the, to the Shah as an absolute monarch. We now have reporters on the ground have gotten special interviews on people of numerous sides on this conflict. All right, Luke Saran in the streets of Tehran. I've just found a civilian here amidst the violence, uh, and we'll talk to him right now. What is your name? I'm Mohammed Abdul Abraki. What What are you doing right now? What are you holding? Oh uh, well, uh, ever since the communists have taken the streets and started burning, pillaging, and destroying our businesses, us shopkeepers and us civilians have had to fight them back from destroying any more. So, this is a uh, makeshift weapon, I know. But it is good for driving those commies back. The dirty communists have destroyed all the businesses in southern Tehran. Ter ter <gasps> Highway! No, get back! You break, you buy! <laughs> we have secular democracy, and the American CIA capitalist pigs exploiting us for our oil is not justifiable. Uh, that's good. I am one of General Zahidi's soldiers and we are currently patrolling the compound to make sure no communist rebels try to instigate any sort of armed conflict again. If you were to look behind you over there, you could see that it's fairly peaceful now. Our government forces with CIA backed weapons were able to make sure peace my outpost is pretty well suited here, and then, wait, 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 he's getting me! Get out of the ground! Get down on the ground! Get down on the ground! We got the communist pig! This is Luke Saran, I'm currently in Iran right now, and we've just witnessed the capture of a communist rebel. He's been using this sword, and he's tried to infiltrate the compound, but luckily one of the soldiers stopped him. Currently in an indisclosed location with the communist radical. God willing, he'll speak. Death to the capitalist pig dogs of the West. Death to Eisenhower and uh, Churchill. They are the devils. Uh, the, you are the, the Shah. Hey, no, 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 turn it off, turn it off now.